I see something over there. Oh, it's a boat! This was just recently exposed, like in the last couple of weeks. Dude, I have to get out and check this out. What's up, Treasure Fam? We're at Lake Mead right now, and uh, sadly, this is the water level here. That line up there is 175 feet off of the current water level, meaning that that was uh, where the water was in the 80s. The water level is at a record low right now, and I'm here to explore and see what has been exposed on the shores of Lake Mead. We could find some pretty crazy stuff. Who knows what we're gonna find, but it's gonna be an adventure, and I'm super glad you guys decided to join me on this adventure today. Let's get to it, guys. All right, you guys see that little sign way up there that's 175 feet up that sign says closed to skiing so in the 70s water was up there and people were uh trying to ski up there and they were getting in trouble so they put, had to put signs up that is just mind-blowing there's a boat up there dude right there check out this houseboat wreck looks like an egyptian canoe wow oh, it's motor is still there no way i wonder if we can make out what kind of boat this is i'm knee deep Oh my gosh! Okay, luckily I've got a landline here, this little piece of a shipwreck I can stand on. Oh man! Woo! Oh, a skillet! Wow, this is all from this houseboat, you guys. All kinds of stuff from this houseboat. Let's go see what else was on there. Look at this thing! This is old! A wooden shipwreck. I wonder if this was like one of the, the original, like, you know, like the, the Hoover Dam tour boats? The hatch windows. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at this. That's crazy. You guys, there was a lot to see at that shipwreck. I made a whole separate video just searching the ship. So make sure to go ahead and check that out at the end of this video. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and keep on searching the shores over here and seeing what else we can find out here. Cause there's so much to see and we've only got maybe four hours left. Let's keep on looking guys. Check out this little crevice in here, you guys. It must have been like some kind of a creek or something maybe came down through there and made that little crack. Uh -huh. Hello! We should walk that up there and see what's up there. Yeah, we should. We're about to step on. Dude, this is crazy. This is like a sandy beach, but look how steep it is. Yeah, that just dropped. When the water level was right there, you bring your boat up and then you come up here with your family. You have a big old campfire, set up your tent. Dude, it's probably 70 degrees in here right oh, now. Oh, it's so nice. I wonder at what point these boulders landed in here. Cause up until then, it looks like this was all just a big old river, a big creek. At some point, these rocks just fell in here. Fell off the top fell up there the somehow. Top. All right, let's go explore some more shores. We're coming back. You got one? Yeah. <laughs> First cast. There's a boat up there, you guys. And it's way up on the shore. It's like, what is that, 50 feet? 50 feet up from the water level? Oh, it's way up there. It's, it's gonna be an old boat because that's that's been exposed for a while. Let's go see if anybody left anything in the boat for us to explore. Gas tank. Oh, a gas tank? Wow. Oh. Did you hear that? I wonder something inside of it. Dude, it's got gas in it. There's gas in this gas tank. We found some gas for your boat. He's over there fishing. <laughs> Listen, guys, there's gas inside that of this thing. Been Listen. Off that sunken ship. Yeah. That is crazy. No freaking way. Oh, it's gas. There is gas in this thing. How old do you think this is? Okay. Dude, that is awesome. So this thing fell off of a boat a long time ago, I'm thinking. All right, let's go see what that boat has in it. Check this thing out. What? <laughs> what, what kind of drink heck? is that? Half gallon, the sands of time. I mean, I can't even imagine what this was for. It's like something off Pirates of the Caribbean. Jack Captain Jack Sparrow would be drinking from this thing. Where's the rum? It's crazy, you, you see the boat from the shore and then you get in this, this thicket here and you can't see it. Like this makes me appreciate the earlier explorers. No drone shots, no GPS, no satellite imagery. Dude, there's, this is not the boat right here, but this is something. I don't know what it is. Some kind of a dark box. Oh, and the boat's right past it. Do you see it? 
Should we lift it? Oh, dude, there's gonna be snakes under there. You think so? Yeah, I would lift it for sure. I don't sure. have shoes on. Here, I'll lift it. You film? Yeah. Oh, it's it's oh, it's a pontoon. We've been walking for like eight minutes, and we're still walking to the boat. That's how high up this thing was stranded up here. That's so crazy, dude. It's not a boat. I think we saw these on the Google Earth images, dude. Oh. So this is what we thought we were walking to was a boat. Four ginormous tires. Look at how far we are from the lake. <laughs> Something over here. There it is, you see it? Whoa. Look at this thing. What the heck? Oh, look at this. It's a Oh, it's a crate from the from the front. The tote. That we carried our stuff to the boat with. So I wonder if this oh. was a marina over here because they had the floating tires. Oh, this could this have might sunk. have been sunken. Alright, let's see if there's any snakes underneath this thing. Here we go. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Dang, there's gotta be a snake out here somewhere. Look at that big horn sheep down there. Look at the baby one up there. Baby. You see them? Oh my god, it was so cute. Look at how she puts herself between the baby and us. popular beach right here so we're gonna go explore and see if there's anything over uh that's been exposed over there i see something over there oh it's a boat guys we're coming in on a boat right here it was just recently exposed look how low to the water it is guys look at it, it's Whoa, buried the motor is still shiny yeah this thing's not too old I wonder this if was just recently exposed like in the last couple of weeks because it's still right at the water line you guys nice roll bar right there dude i have to get out and check this out Check wow. this out. This is crazy. That that engine is still super new looking. That's so crazy. I wonder what year this boat is. Oh, Look at this here. shirt. Look at brass knuckles. Brass knuckles. Oh, brass it's got a brass knuckles. knuckles. What? I've never seen anything like what? it. What? You know what that's for? That's four beers. That's you know, like those things that hold the beers together? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your shirt and your beers. Wow. Oh, there's some, there, look at it. There's an FM modulator here. Oh, a man, monster. What station were they on? Yeah, well, this is, the buttons are totally shot. Oh, look at it. It's the old school iPhone connection. Oh, this is, this must be in the, in the two, early 2000s. This thing hasn't, this ha thing has been down there a while. This is an iPod. Oh, yeah. This could have something in it. Oh, good. Okay. Nobody dug this out. Oh. Anchor. Is it an acre? Oh, I bet you're right. Oh, come on. It's wrapped around something right here. Oh, just slosh. Yeah. What's at the end of the rope? A shoe. Oh, a shoe. Look at this. That's what's blocking it. This whole shoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a DC. This is totally from the 2000s. Oh. Look at this. Leave a comment down below oh. if you wore DC shoes in the 2000s Damn. like I did. This is a skater shoe. Look at the size of this tongue. Dude, those shoes and this tank top. Give me a couple Slim Jims and a Big Golf, baby. <laughs> <laughs> DC Shoe Co. USA. This brings me back to my childhood. I want to find the rings the gold necklaces, and the ID, the driver's license in a wallet so I can get this back to the owner. Wait, this is a bag. Is it a bag? Yeah. Well, I think there's something in it. Like, oh. I felt some stuff in the bottom. Dude, let's rinse it. Okay, let's go take this down. Oh, yeah. oh, my God, we see something up here. It's red. We're going to go check it out. A bathtub? Oh, it's a float. It's like a... Oh, like a buoy floater? Somebody took a bin and filled it with spray foam. Boofy Marina Systems, Fairfax, Virginia. Listen to that, treasure fam. Little ASMR action for you guys there. We came up from over here. That's where he's got the boat. 
And right over on this side is another cove. Whoa. Oh, there's a rope. Oh yeah. Bet you there's a hung up anchor. Oh. You think? Yeah, that's probably a rope to an anchor. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Whoa. Look at that. But there's this rope right there. We gotta go figure what that is. Look at this. He goes through the sand because this was all wet. Whoa. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Whoa, that looks so cool. Oh, it yeah, keeps, keeps going. going. Where does the rope end? There's no way. It's just it's just getting deeper. <laughs> How does it? Dude, that's weird. Okay, it's getting lighter, I think. Where does this stinking rope end? Wait. Look, look. Whoa. Uh, it's coming from. Do you see that rope? Do you see it? Oh, yeah. is it? I see the end. It's a little knot. It's oh, coming. Okay, that's. So the anchor must be on the other side. Yeah, I've got to pull the other side now. All right, let's see what is on the other side of this rope. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. This thing got hung up on this big rock when the water level was way above my head. Then the water level came down, and here it sits, just decades later. Look at that piece Dude, of history. That is a perfect anchor. Look at this. It's a little rusty. A little crusty. It still swings. Yeah. You guys might have seen on the news, there was a, a body found in a barrel uh, at this lake, like what, a week ago? And they found another body that was not in a barrel. But they did say that they, there may be more bodies that turn up in containers. And so we were just boating around and we just came across this barrel back here, right there. We're gonna go up there and we're gonna explore it and see what it is. It looks pretty new to me. But we're gonna go check it out, you know, you never know what it could be. Something could be inside, we're gonna go check it out real quick and see. It's got chains around this, the side. All right, let's go check it out. It looks pretty clean to me. All right guys, take a look inside this barrel. Tell me if you guys see anything. There's some sand, and this thing had chains around it, so it's almost like this was supposed to float. And then the end of this cable, a tidal wave. let's see where the end of this cable is. Following the cable, there's the end of the cable. I don't know what that, that barrel was for, but I, I don't see any signs of foul play in there. It's crazy to see so much shoreline exposed. It's all, it all used to be underwater and now it's just exposed. So it's like a day of scuba diving without having to pay for the air and without having a limit on the air time. We're about to go check out this boat. These two boats that we see. Check this boat out. So there's not much to it. It's just, oh, is this a crack? Yeah, there's a, there's a, or a cut, it's a cut. But it seems like it's all in one piece. I mean, there's not much to it. It's just kind of a hollowed out boat. There is one boat, I'm not sure if you guys can see that on camera, but if you zoom all the way in, there's one boat right over there in the water that was just exposed recently. And uh, I'm curious if there's some stuff in those compartments like the other boat was. So we're gonna try to make a way over there. It's, it's kind of weird with the walk around the shore, but I think we're gonna try to get a, get a way over there. Oh man, that thing has been down there for a long time. What is that? A baby crib. Is that what that is, a pack and play? It's a bassinet. Is it a baby, like a dog tent? Oh, shoot, is this, this mud is getting, oh wow. This mud's getting too thick, too thin. Dude, it's a dog tent. No way. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, shoot. Woo, I got thick quick. Check this out. What? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's kind of a recent, it's like an iPhone 7 plus? It's just the top of it. Yeah. See these big divots in this mud right here? That is a bass or other fish nest. Isn't that crazy? Now it's just exposed. And looks like a chicken or a bird was trying to find some eggs in there. Look at how deep this one is. Wow. wow look at that one. We just came across a whole glob of just like stuff. And I don't know what's in this, but I'm about to find out. Is there a zipper on it? If there's no zipper, it's a safety seat. It's now a flotation no device. Kind of opening at all, dude. Look at those old Nikes. You think this was gathered and placed here by somebody else, or do you think this was underwater? That's nasty, dude. That's gross. Okay, 
Okay guys, ready to see the craziest boat we've seen all day? This thing must have been super expensive and they had a bad day on the lake. Man, that's a cigarette boat. That thing can go so fast. I'm trying to figure out how it ended up in this little cove. It could have been there a long time when the water level was like way up here and they could have hit one of these, like maybe their, their motor hit the, the rocks. Who knows how it got there, but it looks pretty eerie now. It's a lot of money in the water. What an absolute pleasure today it was hanging out with you. I had a blast hanging out with you guys today. If you guys enjoyed yourself, please make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video. Also make sure to subscribe, like, share the video with your friends, all that good stuff. Also make sure to subscribe to this guy's channel, RJ32. What's up? Let's get him over the line, get him to 100,000 subscribers, guys. I love you guys so much. I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye.